have brought you to the next pizzeria. This one is called Guerin, another institution here in the city of Buenos Aires. It's located on Corrientes, which turns into a pedestrian street at night. And yeah, they've been around since 1932. Wow. Long time. It's gonna be 100 years and not too long. 12 not more. Too long. 12 more. Years more. 88 years old. <laughs> and we ordered up five different slices. Yes. We have the pomarola, mozzarella, napolitana. This is a slice of fina, mm -hmm. which is actually a chickpea. chickpea paste. And typically you just put this on top of another slice and you eat it together. So Sam's going to demonstrate that. I'm going to start with the special of the house. This one is called Pizza Guerrin. And by the looks of it, it's got tomato sauce, ham, mozzarella cheese, um, red pepper, and green olives. So here we go. Mm, that is good. There is loads of ham in there, guys. Comparing the dough to the pizzeria we went to yesterday, which was El Cuartito, this one isn't quite as fluffy. This one is more doughy. The other one was more buttery. This one is just slightly more dense, but very good. Indeed. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna help myself to the Napolitana, which has slices of tomato. Obviously, like you know, tomato sauce, mozzarella, oh, but then look at all that cheese. a fresh tomato with oregano. Here we go. I gotta say, I think the pizzas here at Guerin are even cheesier. Like, they just load them with mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Like, you really gotta chew that <laughs> thoroughly. <laughs> hey, so I can't wait to try my pizza, but first I want to talk about the drink, Pasta de los Toros. Which is empty. Which is empty and then poured into here. This is oh. a grapefruit juice. It's okay. really good. Grapefruit soda, right? Mm. It's fizzy. Grapefruit soda, I should say. Yeah, it is fizzy. And so I've got two different slices to try. Yeah. The classic mozzarella. Ooh, and yes. then I forget the name of this one. That one is pomarola. Pomarola. It looks like... It could be tomato sauce with onions on top. Pomarola. Pomarola. Mmm. That's exactly what it was. It's kind of sweet onions and a little bit of a sweeter tomato sauce too. Mm. No cheese on that one at all. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take the fina, cut off a slice, and I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to do it, but from what I remember being told from a pizza video we made a long time ago was that we're supposed to eat it with the pizza. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a little piece and now I'm gonna take a slice and try them both at the same time. You're basically having a bite of pizza with a bite of chickpea paste, mm -hmm. which is an interesting combination. I'm not sure where that came yeah, from. It is interesting. I mean, to be honest, I prefer the, the pizza on its own, mm -hmm. but it does add a, a, a bit of an extra element to the slice. I guess it would fill you up faster too. It certainly would. It certainly would fill you up. I'm going to try it on its own. You know what? I actually prefer having it on its own. Yeah? With a slice on of pizza. Own? Yeah, <laughs> on its own. For me, it's, oh, it suits my taste better. Yeah. In between slices as a palate cleanser? <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Price point. Oh, that pizza was so good. So, so good. So, moving on to the price point. Yes, it was just under 600 pesos at current exchange. That is slightly less than 10 US dollars. That included the four slices of pizza, the fina, and the two drinks. So, seven items for 10 bucks. What a deal. We will. We are going to keep this pizza quest going. We're moving on to the next place just a few blocks away. Excellent. Let's do it. Okay. 